Let us turn ourselves to the Gospel of Luke and let us read some the Gospel of Luke. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 6. But I say here, love your enemies, do good to them, bless them that curse you, them which despitefully use you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. It is I'm also, I'm also adding from other translations. Verse 29, that on the one cheek offer other, and him that take it away thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, of him take it away thy good, ask them not again. So, it is here. Basically, it is a medication against anger. Because in order for do, in order for, so that we would love our enemies, there should be joy in our thoughts and leave to God. Destroyed all of this anger which is inside of us, so that we would love our enemies or those people who hate some some negative situations to us. And to God, if He is our doctor of souls, He knows. He knows what type of medicine does your soul need, and He allows to happen evil things to happen, so that that person are hurt. Allow it, so that these things happen. He allows these conditions to come into your life. Why? So that you would see this problem of your soul, this anger and this hatred against these conditions, against these people, against this world where you are working. And it is a total of denial. It is your, it's your personal loss, personal. You, 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 would, you wouldn't be able to take cross, you know, but you have your own cross. Here is this place. Where we shouldn't be away, and we shouldn't be to our hearts against those that are, that are hurting us. Yes, it sounds really like a scatism, but in order for us to deny ourselves, God has medication red at this moment. Because there is this big question why? How can I love these people when type of conditions happening with me? And it is, and you have been hurt, but you have to love, you have blessed those who are hurting you. You have to pray God for them that are being annoying to you. You can add also in the verse 28 from other translations that who hurts and who chases you and persecutes you as well, who chases you and persecutes you as well. So, you can add this, here, here definitely here, this uh, list even is even bigger in here, but this fault, you have to realize it, we shouldn't be running away from cross and sometimes to be really, really hanging on cross really a hard one, because you are because you are bleeding yourself on this cross, and when we are dodging the cross, then we are losers, because God is giving you medication, and no, 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 I don't need any medication. No, just something lighter, some some medication of this, uh, some easier medication. I don't need this sour one. It means like that. It means like that. God basically gives medication to your soul, because these hard conditions may they change your soul. Those people who have walked through the fire and water, they have been changed at some time. They, they speak differently, they look at things mo differently, they have uh, some other type of sense to life. 
when compared to to your problems and here is this recipe I don't see it, this happy gospel which is expressed and which has been really told us by some other people this happy gospel is only where, where Jesus was going, where Jesus was talking, this uh, speech of mountain, blessed be, where are all these eight commandments and nine commandments which have been written in there, also in there, also in the verse 23 as well. In the verse 23, you can see it also in here. Uh, rejoice in the day and leave for joy for behold your reward is great in heaven or in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets and also with sufferings but we are over it when person has died to his ego to his to his temptations then then you are free in Christ and Christ is in yourself when you have taken your old person like this really calling us then there are changes when when you are clean and God is really putting inside of you this new wine then it happens like that that my luggage is really easy one then it is that possible but in order for there to come whether you like it or not you will have to really take into account this and love these hard conditions because these conditions for themselves aren't terrible in these conditions usually this person is put and these people make these conditions hard it is for this Maybe I won't get any longer in this. So we have to know. As I told you in the previous time, let, let us uh, stick to the other knots of sin, because there are a lot of these knots of sin, and I don't know if I will be in time, in one time. What are the knots of sin? If you read all this uh, gospel, this, is, this has been put together by some people and also in here, for in order to love, we, we don't have to allow us to be angry. Yes, to what we can be angry. Yes, yeah, sometimes uh, people are getting angry and to in what type of conditions we can get angry uh, when speaking biblically. This, anger, this energy and this potential which we can put it out, we can put it on our temptations. That's where we can get angry. Only on that we can be angry to temptations. When talking about Satan also in some other place, we, we can't just also say some things to him. It wouldn't be really allowed. Also it was in some of the epistles also that angels also said that God would punish you so that he that he does he didn't say any bad things to the Satan uh, but we have to put our anger on our temptations only which are enslaving us only and only on sin uh, and the more you will listen to God you will be more humble you know, when you are being obedient to God, it makes God-fearing attitude inside of yourself. And what does it mean when we are reading even a further in here in this scripture? As we can read, yes. And it is not an easy task, so that it is a total humbleness in here. You will have such a humbleness to that situation where God has put you, like a doctor knows each and every situation. And when you, then you will see your sinfulness in this, your spirit, as Jesus is speaking the first commandment, if you see then all these conditions, you, you won't be really fighting up against, you won't be running away from the cross, 
You can pray for months, for weeks, nothing changes. But when looking to these verses, we see that we can accept it. We can accept it as medication from God. We don't have to run away anywhere. And if you see this poorness of spirit, your sinfulness, and the more that you see your that you don't have any powers and that you can't get right with the law, then you will be in, in front of these obstacles and you will say, God, you are my doctor. And if it is like that, teach me in some way. If I have to love, I'm, I'm really revealing myself to you because God, He renews and he makes these uh, evil things to happen. He is using these evil things so that in order to save your soul. And if you will see this thing, and if you if you will grasp it, I know that a lot of persons are going so far away that they are in such freedom, as Paul said. He says that I am really saying, and I am showing off. Of in front of eyes because of my suffering. See, he is such in God because he realizes that nothing is just simply for that in your life. And if we will know how to act in these hard conditions, in these sufferings, it will give you peace and you will, and you will really encounter with God more. The main thing is not to walk away from the cross. We have this tendency to walk this uh, wide road, but it is not my invention, but the Word of God says it. Also, when, when we, if we quote this, and I hope that you understand this, because these sufferings help to your holy life, to your soul, and we can see, it, we also see it in the epistles, in the epistles of the New Covenant, where Paul is talking, that he is teaching, that he is sending his brothers, what is he teaching to them, how to be on this narrow road, how to live under the standards of God. And if we want that it happens to our scripture, you know, only on our side, but we have to understand that God just do it just simply like that because he has a special purpose for each thing and then Christian life has to be in progress it, it, have, it has to be in a growing process we can when you will read also at home also when you will read at home the chapter 6 it is a very interesting chapter and it, it is written in the verse 14 the chapter 6 you can put corrections in there. I look, I look from the original, also in the Greek and the Hebrew language, here it is one moment. The disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. But everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. But in the Hebrew it is written when he is really getting better in his teaching and in some other version. But that one who has uh, really gone through this teaching and, and when he will be full, then he will be as the same as he is pastor. And we all want to be as Jesus. And it is a normal thing. We all want to be as Jesus. And in order for that to be, you will have to go through the cross. It is not the same. That is what I said, that you have to love your enemies. It is just a teaching, and it is a road. And what you, what you have to take into account, it doesn't happen just in a fast way. It isn't just like when you go to the garden and during one year and during one month you are living like Paul in just as such anointing, also as an anointing as Peter, also as his uh, shadow is healing and also as Philip is teleporting himself as he's walking on the surface of water. It doesn't happen just like that, but it happens during one year, the minimum when speaking in the Word of God and what we are seeing in the Word of God it is minimum ten years. It's to be like that, in a progress, progressive scale. When we are following Christ, it has to be on a progressive scale. And then this 
That's why Jesus says when you put the luggage on, then it is an easy one. Of course, when you are born again today, you are still feeling that it's something different. You just feel that it is a super to be in God. And these obstacles, this medication, this our medication, these hard conditions which we are taking, you know, as God is teaching us. You are already blessed and yourself. As much as you take this cross in everyday life, and if you realize it, then God is working to your, on your soul and your heart. The more you deny yourself, the more cleaner you are. And then this new anointing comes in, and this new is being put inside of yourself. The more we are really in Christ, and the more we take off our old person, this sinful person, the more you are blessed. Jesus said it is easy then, and it is so easy then in walking in Christ, you know. You, this sluggage just lifts you up when you're walking on the standards of God. And in order for us to see the, all this sea, the scenery, to, and to what we have, against what we have these fights, and because we are in the battle and sa Satan is enslaving us also, all these temptations and all this list of temptations is, as the first Christian saw it, the previous time I was there are these eight knots of sin. They basically, they are uh, they represent proudness, and from this proudness comes these other knots, because uh, and as well as Satan, who was really proud because he was thrown out of the heaven with the one third of the angels, and everybody was dealing with proudness, and these these points of like proudness because I would like for you to see them these eight knots are in the Gospel of Love it is not a new invention they have been put together with one chain so that you would test yourself how you are in front of God so that God has said that turn away from your sins and bring false fruit usually we turn away from the sin but we are not bringing false fruit that's what happens with God as I'm telling you he doesn't put to you some uh, just don't put on you some anointing just and I can now do like this and that and I can teleport and walk on the surface of all it doesn't happen like that when you are sinning you are taking part with Satan because when when Satan is tempting you you agree with him and you are sinning one time the second time and the third time it is addiction because a person without any acceptance he is sinning because he has agreed to do it, because there was this temptation comes, and, and then also the senses come. Or you, in this, uh, these temptations, you do it, and just God wouldn't just simply just put a blessing on you. You, ha you have to agree to follow him. You have to have to keep the commandments of God, you have to agree to walk this narrow road. It wouldn't happen just when you simply say, oh God, forgive me, on, and these uh, fruits of turning away just are poured on you. No, you have, to, you have to be obedient to God, and then these, and when you are really good on the virtues, then also these good things happen on you. And then, only, only then, like that way, not in some other way. You can pray about some other things and God is really dealing with you, we know it. But in, for in order for you to be stable as the, as the first Christians, because they were living in a supernatural life, we have to keep this level. We have to be on this narrow road. If you don't see the road, then you will then you will lose also target, which is Christ. So, I would like to give you these eight knots of sin which come out of They are stages and which are also in the Bible because they have been put on the point and it is the experience of the first Christian because they took this narrow road, they knew to what they are dealing with, they knew for what they were fighting up against. What is the fight up against? Because we have been put in many conditions so that we would die to our ego, that we would die to our and that we would be risen with Christ. 
On the pre uh, the previous time I told that the first not much who remember it was with stomach, the fight with stomach. And the medication against stomach. Fasting. Yes, you are right, fasting. Basically fasting it is just a universal as I would tell it a universal way against all the knots of sin, but there is a second knot of sin and there is also medication against it. Maybe somebody knows it, the sexual type of sins and everything which is connected with them. When in the first knot of the sin, we have to keep up the, you know, and we have to uh, take the food and then in the second knot, you can, you can really live with it easily. It, it is just simply just to create children, you know. I know that uh, the, the world puts on the stamp that you have to have a, a life of intimacy, like the, the, and the world is really interested in, and the, the ruler of the world, which is Satan, is also interested in it, but we will, we will trust it. All and God is making any mistakes. If you know uh, about celibacy, and if you have any information also about literature, also in the Soviet Union, I remember in the... Also, I have encyclopedia. It was very a strange thing for me, it was a new revelation for me. Also, this keeping away from things, it is a really nice thing, and there is also a lot of positive things from keeping away from these things. And I know that somebody can oppose me, that uh, because today have been poisoned with this spleen, that it should be regularly this intimate life. You know, I can tell you with the blessing of life, you can remember there was this movie with Adriano Celentano was in the main role, you know, and I remember when watching this movie when I was a teenager and all glory to God that there was such a movie because I, I grew up to this movie, I, I liked it very much and I was practicing the word of God, yes I didn't have I didn't have all this, uh, this, this trees, which is called, but uh, there I had a sport, uh, but, I, but I have kept my health in, uh, in the right order, you know, and I watched this movie for some ten times and I, I really had a positive impact on me, this movie. And here is a truth also in this movie, there's some partly truth in this movie also for the men and also teenagers. I, I would like to suggest to watch this movie when concerning this knot, the second knot of sin. What should be added in here? Of course, I won't get, to get too long because we have been listening, because somebody is listening also and uh, lots of types of people also at different ages, but I will take some main stages. Maybe you can write down these scriptures and then uh, we will touch these points a little bit. First, Thessalonians 4, 3, Matthew 5:28, and that one which think about the marriage of First Corinthians 7:9. When we are looking First Corinthians 7:9, this chapter also in the verse 29, you can pay attention. You can find it also all types of translations because it has been translated very well. These main, main characteristics, and to the second knot of sin, the medication, as I told you previously, also in, in Celentano, is the work. We have to be really attentive, we have to be on tact, sport, it's like a medication to the second knot of sin.
and all these knots come out of proudness and, but, but, but the, and these two, the first knot and the second knot, they are comrades. If you are disciplining a comrade, then to the second knot it will be easier to really get rid of the second knot of sin. There's some main points in there. What you shouldn't be doing, what is a sin, what, and we are looking, what is a sin. As I told you in the previous time about this first knot of sin, maybe you won't agree to a lot of things. Also in the Bible, when we are reading Gospel, yes, yes, Jesus, you are too getting overexcited some things. But, but we are not walking up against God, but we are saying we don't understand this point. But then some time passes by and we understand this point. And as you wrote down the previous time about the first knot of sin, that especially you won't agree to the second knot, but, but with time you will understand it, because the more you will be in God, then these things will get more understandable to you. And the first, which comes out of the second knot, it is this... Uh, it is the sin of fornication as a, because if you are working with uh, the hand, you know, this, this or this, you can say this uh, no? masturbation, it, masturbation of the world is poisoning you that it should be regularly, and if you don't have any partner, you should do it, but no, it is a sin, it is, it is a foolishness, because it is, it is a sin, it, there is no basic thing on it, no evidence of it. I, c I could also say to you this thing, but, but you can also look it to yourselves in the internet. And the second one, let us protect our eyes, let us protect our eyes so that it wouldn't be to this uh, cunningness of Satan. We have to protect our eyes because the sin is also to throw away the clothing of the person. But if there is the marriage, also the force, marriage already, then, then there is basically a problem in there, of course. Of course, when there is a problem of dying and tragedies, it can be, but, 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 but if it, there is fourth time when you're getting married, then there is a problem. Basically, you have to look that there isn't something right in it. Also, the relationship, the intimate relationship with the, the, your person, you know, or the adultery, it is all a very big sin. The, the uh, homosexuality, of course, is a sin. You understand it really the, from the word of God. Also, in the marriage, when there is something perverse happening in the marriage. Mm. Uh, his intimate relationship with relatives, his uh, reading of these uh, of these um, sex books, and when we are dressing ourselves in a too perverse way, uh, memories, fantasies. Then, then also when you are not being in this intimate relationship and walking away from it because if the other one is being pushed it is in the first Corinthians 7 9 but anecdotes also, these cursing words, which are uh, which is connected with this uh, with this sexual thing, anecdotes, some perverse anecdotes. You know, there there are a lot of. I I wouldn't be really raising up it. It is not a pleasant theme. Because as I mentioned, because people are looking at it on different sides, it is just on short, I won't get too long. I wanted to speak about the third note of sin, and it is a greediness, and there are also a lot of points in there. Then I would like to say a lot of things in there, but I think we will end with it. It happened just for us like that, because of the limit of time. So, I think on the next time we will look at on 
we will get to this uh, eighth knot, which is because it is basically the most hardest one, but, but proudness has these first knots, and they are like a shield in order for us to go to the eighth knot of sin. And when we win these knots, you know, then happens this harsh one and gets more harsh when walking through this first and second knot and and this uh, the thing the spite is more when you are on the eighth knot it really and they are piting and then this uh, spirit then this uh, spirit world really materializes and it will be interesting be patient and I will tell you about these things on the next time because these uh, knots, they really help ourselves to analyze yourselves when we have been put in these hard conditions and if we know that in there there was stomach and uh, there was greed and there, there was anger, there was sadness, you know, and it goes like that and you can analyze yourself already. Because when talking about greediness, there is this one moment that person don't want how to characterize it. Of course, kleptomaniac, you know, because everything is sticking to your hands. Not, not that, that uh, type of sense that they did just simply like ching and that's it. But it is like a, this. Uh, it is like a spirit. It is a spirit of greediness. And if we don't know all of these tests and all these notes, then we won't be able to recognize our cells and things. And when you will pray, you won't be able to recognize them. That's why it is important for us to see concretely to which we are dealing with, about against what we will ha have despite. And, we will, and when we are following Christ, it's just a time. We will be in Christ at that time. Christ as the first Christian, because they were walking supernatural and when you are praying then this prayer it is uh, 100 times more effective when your when the condition of your soul is right in front of God and if you are not fighting up against you you you, you don't get this fullness of spirit and then you, this world isn't working inside of your uh, blessed be the poor in spirit and then don't work all of these as well or this this stare to heaven as well if you don't know this, then basically it is very hard and basically Christianity is on standing on place 